Hello, and I thought I'd just show people how to add sound to a sliding door because I've watched a YouTube video with a tutorial on how to make sliding door, but they were, it didn't add anything about how to add sound to it. It was just silent when they tested it. Uh, I'm going to add that link in the description just so um, you can watch that on a first on how to make a sliding door because I've already made my sliding door, which is here. As you can see, I've added the dummy sector, set all the properties, put where the door is actually going to go. So uh, I don't re I, I'm not going to be showing this in this video, but if you want to know how to do this, I'll have a link in the description. I'm just going to show you how to add sound to your door. So to add sound, it's not really that hard. You you need a Doom One editor. I use Slade. You can download Slade by oh. That's, that, that's Slade itself. You can download Slade by going in, going Googling it, going to Downloads tab and 27.11.13 is the one, you sh is the latest version. Download that and then open it up. I've got it open down here. And what I've done is I've just opened the map. I saved it. I saved the map. I, I, I map the what? I saved the map into it. I just made. I named it Door Sliding, Sliding Door Sound, Doom Sliding Door Sound. Um, so this is just the map and and all its properties. This is said though there's no content to sound at the moment. And that's what I'm going to add now. So you may want to take some notes or and I'll add everything like the code in the description for it. It's not a complicated code though. It's really simple. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into archive, new entry. Now pay attention to what I'm going to do here. You want to put it all in caps and put SND info. Click OK. I'll explain all these in a minute. Next, another new entry. SND SEQ. So now we add these add the two lumps I've just done and now our actual sound. We want insert the sound that we want when the door opens. Archive, import files. My sound name is Tech One. Yours may be different. I'm just using this as an example. So and so when the door opens, this sound will play. So every time the player opens it, that sound will play. And it's quite a cool door sound. I I got it from another PWOD, and I'm just using it as an example. You can use whatever you want. But so anyway. SND info and SND sequence. Well, SND info it's just a place where to add all the the file the the the, the sound files. So in some of the game knows or, or or the world knows the content, the initial content of uh, that uh, that exist that it actually exists. So if the, if this doesn't exist, then the, the game the the guild wouldn't know what sound to play because there needs to be this is so it needs to be a place where they're all stored. And what and what you add here is uh, just the sat the name of, the, of your sound file. Mine is tech one, so I'm going to write tech one. Whoa, my bad. I'm going to write tech one space tech one. You have to have two on the the, the names on the same line, two names on the same line. It comes up with an error if you don't. Uh, I don't know why you have to, but you just do. It's just the sound procedure, I think. But so yeah, make sure you have your file name twice on the same line. Uh, and then we go into SND sequence. Oh yeah, make sure you remember to save changes. So now we have that, and now we want to go into SND SCQ. View as text. So now pay attention, because this is quite important. I will put this code in, in the description. The first thing we want is a name. So the name of the action we're doing. We we're having a door open, but for for this tutorial I'm just gonna put well follow what I'm doing if you're following along. Colon tech no door. You can put whatever you want. I'm just writing techno door as uh, just as an as an appropriate title. It doesn't the, the what you type here doesn't apply to the functionality of any of, of how the door of the sound or when the sound comes in, etc. So now we want to press new line. So now we actually write out the actual action here, and that's a door. So 
we type in door actually no a, a nice thing to do is press tab first so it, it separates it out from the uh, from the margin line so what we want is door and add a few spaces and and uh, you know the you know, back in doom builder I should have probably mentioned this before actually I'll mention it now um what you don't see in the in the tutorial of the sliding door you don't see adding a sound number well when you do the properties of the of the side where you do project start line you put project start number 1 you also have to add a sound number it's very important the sound number i've got is 1 so back in so back in slade back in slade you have to type in that sound number which is 1 so the door so the the, the script knows which um which not which, which when it needs to play the sound on which door. Um, so then we press the new line for that, and because it's just saying this is just saying when door one opens, play, and the name of the file, which is my file, which is tech one. However, you you would write your file sound file name in there. And the last thing we need to put is no stop cut off. That. That is just the, what that does is it doesn't like make any other sounds in the background stop when the door when this when the door sound plays it they just continue. So if you don't have that when a player opens the door all the sounds in the background will stop. <laughs> and I don't think you want that. Uh, it'll just look it'll I mean it'll just be weird, won't it? And that's pretty much it really. Oh, and also one more thing we must add is. Uh, is a uh, type end so it kind of closes this all off save this and then that's pretty much it really so we have our SND info which is just remember the two sound files important add them same line add two on the same line and our techno door Door one, play door one. Well, when door one opens, play this. No sub cut off. Don't stop any other sounds. Um, and yeah, that that's it. That is it. You your door and that your sliding door should have sound. I mean, I'll add this code in the description and I'll add the link to the video of how to create a sliding door. Uh, but this is how it will look in game. So yeah, thanks thank, thanks for watching my tutorial. I hope this helped. If you have any uh. If you have any questions about it, please uh, email me. Uh, I'll add my email address in the in the description, or message me on YouTube. I cannot reply to comments. I don't. For some reason, my profile doesn't allow me to. So yeah, if you want to get in touch with me, either email me or send me a message or inbox on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching.